Um, Parsi fucked me up, so I'm gonna do some backtracking and see if I can use these new gloves to move any obstacles that were in my way, because there were quite a few of those blue blocks that we ran into. Let's just go ahead and start from the first map. There's blue. Nice. Gimme. Uh, place it here. And what is up this way? Ooh, a new path. Let's go. Oh, it's you again. Oh, it's the dang fairies. What's going on? You're what? What's going on? If you can hit me, then by all means do. What are you talking about? It's in a fairy's blood to prank, no matter how many times we get thwarted. <laughs> Maybe. What's happening, though? I'm shooting. What are you shooting at? Are they playing Don Lanku? Oh, maybe you'll tell me what's going on. No? Oh, shooting range. Okay. One hundred gems. I oh I have quite a few gems. I could invest that in a good item. Okay, well we've seen this now. I'm gonna invest those gems into a new accessory item right now. So that was that chunk of the map. Oh, story event. Okay, we are uploading this after. Oh, oof. Don't tell me it was, yeah, it was you. <laughs> it's Hijiri on her motorcycle. <laughs> okay, let's take up Yakura. <laughs> just fighting her because she hit us with the motorcycle. I mean, I guess that's a reasonable response, right? That's that's a fair amount of hit points. Buddha's mercy is wasted on the wicked. Pardon my light jest. Mercy is wasted on the wicked. I don't know. Oh, that hurt. Okay. That was with a defense boost. Oof. Oop. Blocked way too early there. It's probably too early to attack. I probably shouldn't have had Tenji set up another buff, but I wanted to smack her. She should eat a peach. She should have a snack. Um, yeah. Munch on that. There you go. Get her. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, she buffed her own defense. That's tolerable. I can deal with that. Which means maybe I should save my SP for when that wears off. Oh my goodness! One hit point. I wonder though, is that physical defense or both defense? Because if it's regular, no, it's both. Uh, 
There we go. Guarded way too early there. Keep healing. We need that. Um, I don't know. I could wait until her defense buff wears off, but... How many turns is that going to take, really? Oops. Screwed that up. We're okay, though. We're doing fine. Attack buff. Okay, that's... that's kind of scary. No, you need to... You need to use this on your name. <laughs> Get her. Nice! Six hundred! Six hundred damage. Uh, I have so many of these revive potions. I'm just gonna use this instead. She gets more health back that way. <laughs> That's bad. It, it's kind of annoying how much setup and recovery I have to do with this strategy. Because look at all these turns I'm using to not do damage with. And even then, I might just get got. Probably supposed to defend right before the last punch, but I don't know. Oop. I pressed early there. Come on. Be done. I have a feeling she's almost out of hit points. There we go, we got her. Dark robes. You're the one who hit me with your motorbike. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks. Oh. What'd she do? Oh, I guess she's gone through the barrier. All right, cool, cool. Mm, okay. Pestle. Let's make rice paste. <laughs> Hello, it's me. <laughs> we could buy that for ten for um Koshi, but I don't think I need to. From caving or getting distracted. Does that work on confusion? Or Rage, maybe? Because that would be helpful against Parsi. Offense Bracelet and Defense Bracelet. 
I thought I was going to buy one of these, but maybe it would be better to try using these. Because that's 7,500 for three of them. Kind of a lot. I'll be really bummed if it doesn't work also. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save right here. And I'm going to buy the items and see if they work. Buy three of those. Scary big purchase. maneuver to the shrine. I could make a separate save file, actually. Yeah, okay. So that sucks. So instead of that, let's see. Who is using a filler item? Oh, Koshi should replace her mask with a defense talisman. Bracelet, whatever. Give me one of these. Oh, she's not wearing the mask anymore. Well, okay. Uh, you need defense. Her defense stats are fairly low. Special defense is extremely low. Well, let's give her one of those. Hmm. No. Most of these just aren't that good for her. Resists Rage. Ooh, that might be good. Hmm. But it's Resist, not Immune to. So that, that could help, but I don't think that it's a game changer by itself. I think it is not a game changer by itself. Because it's one character. And really, I think the thing that's getting me more than anything else is just the... The boom, boom, boom. You know to, uh, you know, the steam attack. So, let's, let's try to climb the mountain a little bit. I don't know if I did this on camera or not. I don't think that I did. I think that I'll probably decide not to upload that bit. I have explored this area. Oh, that's a new monster. Low rank yokai. I decided that I need to use my specials here in this area on, on regular enemies. <laughs> because they're pretty tough. Okay, it's nothing. So... This is a platforming challenge, clearly. This Tengu mentions that there is a... a button somewhere that will stop the lifts from moving. 
which would be really, really nice. But I don't know if the button is accessible or not. It might be, but it might not be. All right, I think right here, I'm gonna cut the video and I will resume when I have either made it to the other side. Because notice, there's no ground down there. If I screw this up, I'm going back to an earlier part of the level. <laughs> and I'll resume when I'm on the other side, or when I've decided to go somewhere else. So I will be back soon enough, I guess. Gee, and check it out. I made it across the platforms. Oh, come on, I'm trying to celebrate here. <clears throat> we'll just deal with these real quick. You could heal me up. Um, but look at this. I made it across the platforms. I had to save Scum to do it. I made a save every time I reached a new platform, and I loaded my save every time I failed and landed in the abyss below. Well, that's okay. <laughs> when an RPG presents you with platforming challenges, you can save Scum your way across. It's fine. I am hoping that I find something useful around here. Peony, for pain, sedation purposes. Keep out. By order of the ante management. Huh. I don't know where this spring will take me, so I don't want to touch it. Oh. Huh. These are peonies, okay. Is there supposed to be something in here? Oh, I found something. I will, um... Keep looking and see if I find another one of those. I can check my inventory too. Oh, I think it's just peonies, yeah. All right, what are these for? Pain management, something like that? Okay, looks like all the ones we're gonna get. Let's see what they do. I'm the Shrine Maiden, I can take what I need. A perennial of the family, can't read that. Its roots have in Analgesic and homeostatic properties. Well, it doesn't tell me anything. I guess I gotta touch the spring now. Boing. What? No way. So I guess I can't go anywhere. Anywhere further than that. I mean, I guess... Kina tells me as much, but... Oh. Oh, she literally means you can't go any higher. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, that sucks. So then the only thing I have that I can do is go fight Parsi, I think. Where's Ran? Maybe I can... Oh, there she is. Yeah. Alive and well. <laughs> I'll resolve the incident and be thanked by everyone. Where does this go? To the temple, okay. Behind the Morian temple. Oh. Go this way. Interesting. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know where they would be. But I'll look around by the cemetery anyways. Ooh, a block!
Okay. So, this is normal. This is like one of those ability barriers where you have to get a certain item before you can progress. Let's go up this way. Ooh. Okay, this is different. This is a whole new zone. Very good. Haunted Mansion? <laughs> Holy water. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is different. I'm going to go heal before I go too farther here. Oh, Dream World again. Very nice. Might find something good here. Maybe. Oh, there's one of those red switches or something. And the treasure is still looted, right? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, nice. Become my friend. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo! Wait, did we get a new party member? Ooh, check it out. Okay, what, what does Doremi do? Amasses great amounts of sleepiness to send all opponents to sleep. Send one opponent to sleep and feed on their dreams. Extra effective on opponents already asleep. Send one other ally into sleep to heal their injuries. Recovering health, spirit power, and curing debuffs. Ooh! Dream Express. Run the Express Dream Train over all opponents. Press the skills button when the train appears. Very interesting. What weapon do you use? Dream Soul. Resist sleep. Resist sleep. Hmm. Very interesting. Go on for a bit more. Lazy Shrine Maiden. So we got a new party member, that's good. Empty. For a little bit. Excuse me? Wait a minute. Wait, uh... Grayson? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know what this is. This is a, a glitch that happens when you get a new party member. Um, Raysen appears in your team when she's not supposed to, at level one, no less. Um, <laughs> it's a glitch, it's not supposed to happen. Um, it'll get fixed when she actually joins the team for real. This is a bug that I learned about when I was doing research. A watermelon? A note inside the watermelon. This is Maris's watermelon. Death awaits whoever that takes it without permission. All right. Using phantoms instead of ice. 
All right, normal weapons can't hurt those, so I need to avoid them. I think. We'll see. They're much less aggressive than fairies, so that's probably how it's supposed to go. I can run away from a battle if I get caught in one. Maybe special attacks can still get them. I don't know. We'll find out when we need to. Who is this? Oh, Ruined Mansion. I've been curious about this place. I've been curious. I wanted to see what this place was. Now, what game is this from? I don't... I, I don't... I don't recall a haunted mansion in any Toho game. Is this ghost an NPC? Can I talk? Nope. Bake bake. Now, can I crush you with a normal move? She always throws Remu, that's funny. Uh, yes. Normal attacks work. Sleep. Maybe it just has a lot of hit points. Because it would be getting zero damage if that actually... It, the game would show me zero damage if it was actually not taking damage. You'd think. There we go, got it. One gen. Ray Sen's level increased. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to deal with this, aren't we? Okay. But, it opened up a room for us. And there's a switch up there. Wait, a fairy. Oh, well, she's going somewhere else. Hmm, going up here doesn't do any good for me right now. Because I need to get to that switch, and I don't see a way to do that. Ah, that's not a passage. Are you coming down here? No, she's just being spooky. I don't know what she's doing. Oh. Alright, I need to kill these ghosts to get anywhere. Can I use these stairs? I can. But even then... Oh, here's someone. Yeah, Lyrica. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is the, uh, the home of the Poltergeist sisters. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah, really. Wait. There may be some clue to the hidden room in the room with the musical notes marked on its floor. Got something to do with a specific arrangement of scale degrees. I don't know what that is. Oh no. I'm kidding. That sounds fun. Okay, we have to find, first of all, I want to find the room Oh, it's this room. Okay. Maybe it's not this room. Oh, wait. Three hundred health each. Okay. So what's through here? Buzz. Huh. Oh, okay. I get it. Damn it. I think that's a running jump. From here, must be. Oh! Come on. Ah, oh! Oh, this is rough. This is gonna be bad. <gasps> oh, you can go backwards. Okay. You can see the problem, right? <laughs> oh, come on. Ah! Oh, boing! Boing! Oh, no! Oh, that's not easy. I can't fucking see where I'm going, man. Oh, 
Oh, we made it. Gimme. There's something written on the bottom of the box. Third is a lie. Okay. Let's get my sticky notes. Here's the thing, though. I don't know anything. Oh, I have to take my headphones off to go get the pencil. Maybe. Maybe I can reach. Got it. Okay. The thing is, though, I don't know shit about musical scales. So, yeah, okay, the third is law, but what does that tell me? Nothing. I'll have to use my phone to, like, Google what a musical scale looks like and where law actually is on the scale, because I don't know. No idea. I didn't take music class. Yeah, I can just do that. Okay. Ooh, spooky. What is this? Is this gonna be a physics object? Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Looks like I don't need to do any balancing though, so that's good. <laughs> oh. There's a button. <clears throat> Oops. Right, you have to jump straight up and down. <laughs> oh, I see. Funny, clever. Gimme. What's the treasure? Nice. Last up. Okay, well... So there's probably like eight, I don't know. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. So, all right. So I gotta find treasure boxes that have words on them. That's fine. Can I like just, let me throw it. Aha! Gimme. Now what? Oh! Put that there. Seventh is me. Oh! I have to shoot the poltergeist that's moving that switch. Or that, that block. How do I... I can't see it, so... Oh! Aha! I'm not allowed to walk on these blue spaces, but we can just push the block where we need it to go. Okay, that's fine. Ring, gimme. Fifth is La, okay. Didn't figure out how to get to that button. This fairy has got to have something to do with it. Aha! Oh, but she needs to stay on top of the switch. How do I... How do I get her to stay on top of the switch? What? Maybe I just need to run at the switch. That doesn't seem right though, does it? Like, get her to come all the way over here so she has to spend the longest amount of time on top of the switch and then press it. Okay, there we go. Me. I am writing this down. Oh. No. No.
Wait. Oh, okay. I don't have to make the jump. Yeah. So this one needs to land right here. Uh, I hope that's close enough. Go for it. You can do it. Go for it. Yes, she made it. Thank you, little fairy. Good job. Revive and put this in here. The books are complicated. Oh wait, if you shoot the poltergeist blocking your way. It turns blue? Be shocked into retreating. Okay. Huh. Okay, I just need to blast them. Alright. Sixth is law. Alright, we just need to find number two. No! Figures it'd be a jumping puzzle that... It's an unusual button combination. It's, what, right and down to make that jump? It's kind of hard. It's kind of difficult. <laughs> ah! All the buttons, all the jumps are diagonals, right? So none of them are particularly... Oh, we did it! Oh, that was really tough. Next is T? Wait, what? So T is either two or... Wait. Oh, no, no. Okay, so T is the is number two. Okay, we got it. We know all the notes. All right. So, we gotta move into this room now, and I gotta save here. Okay. So, on my phone, real quick, I'm gonna bring up what a musical scale is supposed to look like. Hello, YouTube. I'm playing Super Joho RPG, and I solved this stupid puzzle. So, here's what I was doing wrong. I was using a scale that I found on Google Images, which is different from the scale that you're supposed to use in-game. I don't know why it's different. It's like it's upside down or something. I don't know, but even when I tried my solution backwards, it didn't work. Until I talked to Lyrica, and she gives you the exact scale you're supposed to use, figures. So I wrote that down, I drew a picture of that on my sticky note here, and then I used the information I got previously to solve the puzzle. It was kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> and even then, like, I still had to do a tiny bit of guesswork about where ghosts are supposed to go where. But, you know, that's mostly a visual thing about the game's perspective. Anyways, I cleared the puzzle. You probably will not see me um, getting mad at the game about it. I'll probably cut that from the footage. <laughs> so the hidden room should be openable now it should be accessible and there should be a way to it from in here somewhere maybe i'll just show you what i had to do to solve it that but it's not it's this I have the solution already. I know what the solution is. So I'm not going to get really mad about this. 
<laughs> I might get annoyed. See, it's kind of hard to tell. Has he moved as far as he's going to or not? It kind of looks like he's going to move again, but he isn't going to. Okay, that's half done. So now I need two more laws. I gotta be sure. That was there, that was it. Okay, that's two laws, another me, and then a so at the end. Um, so go all the way up. Okay, and where is so? So is second from the bottom. So at the very bottom is fa, but right there when he's on the line, that's it. So that's the puzzle. Um, I keep thinking her dialogue is going to change because I've solved the puzzle, but it's not. Worst case scenario is I go back online and I check the fucking wiki again. But there's, what am I supposed to do in this room? Wait a minute. Did I get a screenshot of this? Or not. I might have. I'm checking a file on my desktop to see if I got a screenshot. What a quality let's play. This is this is what you No, this is for an earlier part of the game. Dang it. Okay. Well What could I possibly have to do in here? Oh, I can I can pop the ghosts now. Maybe that's what I have to do. All right. Well, I have items to restore my SP. This is this is also a thing that I think is not excellent game design. It's what spiritual wine? Yeah. Oh, maybe I had the switch on and that's why they didn't die. Nothing happens if you kill them all. What if I stand on the, the thing now? Nothing. Damn it. I'm so sick of this mansion. I hate this mansion so much. All right, I'm gonna save here, and I'm gonna go on the fucking wiki again, and I'm gonna check. What am I supposed to do? What do I do? What is Bimby supposed to do here? Because I have had it with this zone of the game. I have had it. I'll be right back. 